Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute little folded bats. So I think last year, you can see the adhesive behind this, sorry. Um, so I think last year this was like really on trend is people were buying these cute little bats and then putting them in their living room or like coming out of their chimney or whatever. And so I never got on the bandwagon last year, but this year I thought they'd be super cute. But I did a little twist and I put them in my, or on my porch, like with like a little kind of like Halloween little front door moment. I'll post a picture on the screen so you can see what it looks like. But I thought these were just so cute and honestly they were so easy to make. I have no clue what these actually like cost, but they were really freaking simple. Like literally so simple. I just put some adhesive on the back. This was again like a last minute thing that I did. So the only adhesive I had were, was this like little Velcro. So you can't really see it because it's black but you can hear it. So that's all I had. So you can use whatever adhesive you have if you want to do a, you know, probably a non-permanent if you're going to put it on like a painted wall or something. But I just thought these were so cute. So all you are going to need is some thick, heavy cardstock. So I'm so sorry. I don't know what pound this is. But I'm going to guess it's like 110 or something. You can kind of like hear how heavy it is. As opposed to something like this. This is like a normal kind of like medium cardstock. It's probably like 65 pound. And this is like way more flimsy. So I'll do like a little bin test. I don't know if this like shows you like literally anything. But just go with the thickest black cardstock you can find. This one, I can only find it in eight and a, eight and a half by 11 size at Michael's, but whatever you want to use. But again, the heavier, the better. Um, just make it so you're able to fold it because it's going to keep those little wings. Honestly, if you wanted to do it with this kind of lighter cardstock, you could probably get the same effect, but I used heavy cardstock for these. So I'll show you how we did it. All right, so of course I'm doing this with my Cricut, but you can do it with probably any other software, but the exact bat image I used, I found here in Design Space. So I'm just gonna come over here to Images, and I'm gonna apologize in advance if this is a um, Cricut Access image. If it is, we'll try and find one that's free. Oh, I almost typed Cricut bat. So all I did was type bat, and uh, which bat did I use? I think I used this one. Okay, so it does look like it is Cricut Access, so let's t check free and see. Yeah, so you could do this with like either one of these two. Um, this one I think might give you more of like the silhouette effect. I don't like this one's like little like tail thing that's weird but yeah you could use this one and what I would do is I would just hit the contour button so to hide these little slits so you would just go to contour hide all con con contours contours and you're good to go but that's not the one I want to use I want to use this one so again, that's the free option. If you have Cricut Access, you can use this. I'm sure you could find an image on Google as well, but for the sake of this, this is what we're gonna use. So my largest bat that I did was about seven and a half inches long. And then the smaller ones were about three and a half inches long. And so for this, I'm keeping the lock on and I'm just keeping the proportions locked so it looks like a bat and it doesn't get all warped. All right, so those are the two sizes. Of course, you can do whatever size you want. If you want them bigger, smaller, whatever, it's completely up to you. But that is basically it. So we're going to come over here to make it. And I'm doing this on the mat. And I'm using a Cricut Maker 3, but you can do whatever um, Cricut machine you want. So since I am doing 8.5 by 11, I'm just going to scoot some of these over. To make sure that they fit all on the paper that I'm cutting. 
All right, I'm going to click continue. So for the cut setting, I am going to do, let's see, I'm going to see if they have like a heavy cardstock option. Oop, cardstock. All right, so I'm going to do this heavy cardstock option. Done. Just to make sure I get clean cuts, I'm going to do more pressure. And so I'll switch you guys over to the camera so we can make it. So I just realized I just talked for five minutes and was not recording, so perfect. All I did is I put my 110 pound cardstock on the mat. I'm pretty sure this is the Recollections 110 pound from Michaels. And I also just mentioned that I just got my nails done and I think they're so fun for Halloween. It's like, I never get black nails or dark nails, but I thought these were fun. All right, so I loaded the mat. Now. We have our Cricut light blinking so we can hit play or hit cut and it will cut. All right, so we'll unload our mat. And so I'm just gonna peel off the cardstock. And then I'm just using my little tweezers to get them off the mat. Or you could like bend your mat too. And just kind of like pick them off. And you guys, that's like basically it. All you have to do now is just kind of like bend the wings in the way that you want so you can make them more like aggressive or you can make them more like subtle but that's basically it and then take whatever adhesive you want to use and just stick them to the back just like these and then stick them wherever you want and that's literally it I'll go show you my front door so you can see kind of how I did mine so if you haven't been on my Instagram, which you should, this is what I did for my little doorway. So I have the bats kind of going up. I do think I had one casualty up there because I think that one wasn't like so randomly placed, but I think it turned out so freaking cute. Joe kicked my pumpkin, so they're a little messed up right now. But I just thought this turned out so cute. And so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, happy crafting.